All right, Fritz is off today. Pablo is here with a look at the uh, weather, specifically the wind situation and the low humidity moving in here. Yeah, Colleen, yesterday we were talking about how nice it was and uh, the nice sea breeze we had out there. What a difference 24 hours makes when you have the winds coming in off the deserts rather than the ocean. 14 degrees warmer in downtown Los Angeles. 85 the high this afternoon. We're going to get up into the mid-90s in portions of the west side of uh, L.A. as early as tomorrow. Let's take you outside this afternoon. Check out the skies over Southern California. Kind of a hazy sunshine out there. Winds later tonight. They're starting to breeze a little bit in some of the high and low desert areas, but they'll really be picking up overnight tonight, drying things out even more so than it already is out there. Let's show you the live uh, Weather Plus 3D radar not picking up any precipitation. Certainly we could use it even in the form of some mountain or desert thunderstorms. Just not happening. Not enough moisture in the air right now. Temperatures very warm this afternoon. Look at Catalina Island. Avalon, 80 degrees. But look at the coast. 67 out at the airport. Bump in uh, inland to Chino. Already up to 89 degrees, starting to cool off there just a little bit. Winds we're going to be watching very carefully. And you can see up in Victorville and uh, Valverde, winds already in double digits along the coast. Not much of a problem, but these winds will be gusting up to 45, 50 miles per hour early tomorrow morning, right on through Thursday afternoon. So we're going to keep an eye on that because that's really going to dry things out in the humidity as well. 5 to 15 degrees warmer Wednesday afternoon. Santa Ana winds moving in. High fire danger certainly with those very, very dry conditions out there. Red flag warnings go into effect 11 o'clock tonight through Friday evening. Pretty much all of the mountain and valley areas of Southern California, including the Inland Empire, local gusts to 50 miles per hour and single digit relative humidity for about 48 hours or so. Here comes that ridge settling into the four corner area, bringing in that very dry wind all the way to the coastal areas where we're going to see daytime highs tomorrow in some of the beach communities warmer than some of the inland communities. Not bad out there this evening, pretty much in the 50s area wide. 38 up at Big Bear will be the cool spot. Tomorrow afternoon, temps up Temecula 96, 82 at Apple Valley, pleasant up in the mountains, 68 at Big Bear. South Coast readings, look at some of the coastal readings 94 at Long Beach, Torrance 88, 94 here in Burbank. North Coast readings very warm, 87 at Ventura and 97 at Woodland Hills. How about the uh, Mathis Brothers Live Weather Plus 7-day outlook? It's going to be warm. It's going to be hot over the next couple of days, especially tomorrow. Valley highs up near 100 degrees. So a couple of days of strong winds, dry humidity and high fire danger. Winds less of a factor on Thursday, but still very dry out. You know what we need is a bunch of rain. We just need a bunch. It'll happen. <laughs> okay. Not this I'm going to hold you to it. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, fellow.